guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my car we are in the car which means only one thing we are heading out to the shops today i am actually at a place called ham 14 there's a big next next home here so they've brought out a new pet range of which they've very kindly sent me some bits so i have those at home already and i thought well why not make this a whole dedicated next video i did a couple of instagram reels and tiktoks which seemed popular so i thought well maybe i'll bring it to youtube then and do a full-on let's go shopping let's see what's in stores anything i do pick up i'll share with you when i get back home so make sure to buckle up sit back relax grab yourself a nice cozy drink and let's head on in to next 2 a.m in the car playing our favorite song turn it up windows down we sing along Summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight Sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. They don't need to know we're out here, wild and free. They say we're crazy, it's too much. And just like that, I am back home. So I had a lovely little adventure out, got back home to still a very warm house. So I've just got all the windows open, hoping the breeze will cool me down. But I, where should I start? Let me just jump straight into it. I've got some fashion bits, some homeware bits, some bits that you guys have sent me saying, you're gonna love these. And I did pick them up. So you'll see what those are in just a second. But first thing I'm gonna share with you is this short suit set it is a gorgeous piece of piece gorgeous pair of tailors this is the sun the sun's getting to me um tailored pair of cream shorts like a sand kind of color i got them in a 12 regular 36 pounds they were and then the blazer the matching blazer i again picked up in a 12 next tailoring now it is on the more fitted side than what i would typically go for so I would maybe suggest sizing up. Um, 68 pounds the blazer are. Loads of these bits that I feature within these, this video may actually now be in the sale by the time I'm uploading this video because they had so much sale on. It was amazing, but yeah. So I'll leave links to things down below, but if you did want to um, check them out via those links just in case they have gone into the sale um, because the prices that I'm telling you may not be accurate but anyway that's the first set that I got I also got this gorgeous dress very pretty perfect for summer for the hot months I it is from the next generation now is this a new line that they've brought out supporting better cotton new sustainable range that they've got anyway i picked it up in a 12 this one and it's kind of got like a slight uh ribbed kind of fabric to it ribbed or is it like cheesecloth material i don't know next up is this two-way um dress which is perfect because you can wear it either from the front as more of like a pinny style no let me get this right as a button down style or you can wear it the other way around and it's more of like a pinafore style high neck i actually think i prefer wearing it this way around i got this one in a 10 it does have pockets as well it's kind of like a thin denim this one so it's a little thicker than the other dress in fact quite a lot thicker than the other dress and it also is available in the tall range 36 pounds that one i got two cardigans getting ready for the cozy season this one's definitely better suited to the warmer months because it is a thinner knit i got this one in a medium at 36 pounds that was my phone don't even know where it is oh it's over there um and it's like a oatmeal kind of color it's got a mull kind of pattern to it and it's ribbed as well yeah it's a thinner lightweight knit i actually think that was my preferred one of the two this one is definitely a cozier one better suited to the 
um, cooler months and it is quite thick and cosy this one and it is also more of like a cool toned beige I would say this one again in a medium at £36 that's it for the fashion now for some homeware bits first thing I got this poof which is going to go down in our basement we're going to have the gym as a temporary kind of living room when they get to the stage of knocking through to our downstairs for the ground floor renovations so I have got this and we're going to start styling up that I say gym because in the future that's kind of what its intended purpose is for but we're just going to have TV installed, I'm getting quotes on that currently because we're going to have a sound system put in as well suited for the gym when it is a gym in the future and we're just going to pop a sofa in there and I thought this poof, this kind of boucle style um, poof would be nice so if I show you a bit closer up so you can see the texture of it is gorgeous, £55 that one then I did also get Barney a matching bed to that boucle style um, poof but I still need to attach the legs, we've got four legs there and it's just going to sit in that living room for him to be able to lie on oh gosh it's heavy, that is lovely, I think he'll love that he's already been up in my filming room here and he laid down in that so I know he fits, I know he likes it but we just need to pop it in its proper home with the legs on as well so I'm kind of saving it for for that I might even do a whole styling series video vid no styling video series here on my channel where I'm styling up our like utility room our temporary living room downstairs so let me know maybe even my storage room and how I organize all the Christmas decorations and everything I've still got all of that to do so if you do want me to vlog it let me know I also got this and this is actually more of a it was not too far from the checkout and I saw it and thought oh I'll grab that because it is lovely it is an incense holder I didn't actually see them selling any incense sticks oh, there's two price tags on it no I hate it when this happens right there's one price tag you can see the other one underneath no it's gone up in price it was six pounds now seven pounds it's an incense holder this is what it looks like so you can pop your little incense in here and um just light it and it allows it to burn down i wonder what that one is is that for like when you have like an incense cone or or something something else even i don't know i got some bargain um clearance bits as well just some gift wrap art oh, next has a paper chase in as well um but anyway this was originally 350 reduced down to a pound i thought this was really good for either a valentine's day or a birthday or something for your loved one inside this little heart there are little token cards which you can personalize and pop whatever you want on there whether it be like a date night on me or um an a weekend away on me or something like that a massage who knows and then I also got this I guess this is left over from Father's Day but it could be a good birthday gift as well for your dad I just loved I say birthday gift not obviously a gift a gift bag um I love the color of it the black and the kind of terracotta is lovely again this is 350 down to a pound and it comes with the gift card with a tag and with tissue paper that one so this is something that you guys have been sending me over on instagram you've been messaging me saying a next do really nice looking wooden games now you guys know i love my puzzles i love my games and my intention with our dining room future dining rooms to maybe incorporate that a little bit on the shelves with some styling so i loved the look of this set of dominoes it's 26 pounds they do have a jenga as well they have what else do they have they have loads they've got a noughts and crosses set which i was tempted for and um, loads of bits so yeah this may not be the last of my wooden games purchase from next next up how could i not get one of the candles from bath and body works as you guys know they now stock on next if you didn't know they do oh my god do you know what it is it's just the scent is so strong with these this is the mahogany intense i got this last autumn winter i used the ship it to service to be able to get um american goods the uk who remembers that wholesome autumnal fall American haul with pumpkins galore and Bath and Body Works. I'll leave it below in case you're a bit, I don't know, of an autumn fiend and want more. Even though it's still early, it's still July, but if you do want to see more, I'll leave um, that link below. I am thinking, guys, 
of doing autumn is here early some kind of autumn is here early shopping video because the shops are all getting all the autumn stuff in already and i don't want to miss out i'm just gonna let that siren go past again some bits that might feature within some kind of a styling series video down in my basement is in the bathroom i've got some bathroom brit bits brits bits um to use so this first and foremost i've got to hold it back because the size of it it's a um levered toilet roll holder where you can pop and stack a few toilet rolls and then also use that as your toilet roll holder so I thought that was quite good, £28. And then to go alongside it, I've also got a matte black toilet brush holder. They've got a couple of black ones actually. I think this is this might be the narrow version, I'm not sure. But it, it's £9 this one. Just a good old standard black toilet brush. I've got black accents in that bathroom down there with the um, black on the shower screen and also the black... Uh, towel rail so I just wanted to inject a little bit more kind of similar to my bathroom that's kind of the style that I've gone for down there and also quite a lot of warm stone things that I've picked up as well from next this is actually part of a set I do think there's something else as well in this set I can't remember but I got the soap dish at eight pounds and the um toilet not toilet toothbrush holder at 14 pounds you could also maybe pop a um kind of like a product in here stood up with this which i am in love with now i'm not very handy neither's tom so i don't know when we're going to get this put up but we've got loads of little snagging bits of things like this to do it's a li little shelf which i want to pop in that bathroom just for storage with obviously the option to have a towel do you know actually this could be quite nice in my bathroom because I don't have a towel rail in my bathroom. I do have a hook on the back of the door. Although I do think it would look good downstairs as well. So I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. Either of the bathrooms. Maybe even have to get another one. How gorgeous. It's very heavy. Solid stone. And I love that kind of rough rustic edging to it beautiful okay last but not least as i mentioned earlier the press team very kindly sent me loads of their new pet products which is very exciting if you are new to my channel i have a golden retriever barney he's he'll be two in november the end of november so he's like a year and a half old and he's crazy <laughs> anyway i thoroughly spoil this dog i kit him out and all the barber bandanas dog stuff so added to the collection you can find barber dog range on next i have the bandana already for him so i got the bow tie i actually had the small bandana when he was a tiny tiny puppy and now he's got the big boy bandana i also got the bow tie which is just the cutest and also a blanket so they do this gorgeous fleece blanket that would be quite nice thrown over this actually um down in the basement I just love it so this is a roll-up fleece blanket which i think he will love then i also got these two from the next wags and whiskers range so cute 20 pounds for a lead it's kind of like a nautical style gray and white stripe lead with a matching poo bag um carrier holder thing and this was five pounds and then also from the wags and whiskers range in the same color this kind of um light and dark gray and then it's reversed on the other side it's like a lighter gray this is just a handy pet towel this was 10 pounds i like to use these um because they're like a microfiber they're not only good for drying their coats but also i just throw them down for when um i give barney a bit of a shower and then i got this which i'm thinking of popping down either popping down in the basement i'm going to see how it looks um because i do have wooden um drying racks on the wall which will clash with this wooden color so i may even save this i've not even got it throw out may even save this for uh i might just put it by the back door in that utility room may even save it for upstairs once we've renovated the ground floor i say upstairs as in upstairs from the basement the ground floor once we've renovated i may pop this there so this is 32 pounds got a cute little shelf says pause off you can pop leads collars all your walking gear 
um, and also I quite like the idea of popping little um, linen bags with loads of like spare poo bags in and stuff so that you can just grab and go. And then how adorable is this treat jar? I love a good treat jar. Now that we've got that utility space, a lot of the cupboard space is going to be filled with Barney's bits so that it's stored away nice and neat and tidy and we've not just got loads of dog stuff everywhere. And I'm thinking of popping some treats in the treat jar, either on the counter. We've got like kind of grey cabinets, so I th feel like this will go nicely. It's kind of like an off-white, white, warm, light grey. It's probably the perfect match to our cabinets down in the utility, actually. So, yeah, I'm actually thinking this one on display rather than in the cupboard will look best. It's got a cute little bone here that just says bon appetit. Bone on top. And yeah, this was £10. The last two bits that I got, I actually forgot to show you earlier because this is not pet related at all. I got these adorable little wax melt burners. How nice are these? They've got a little kind of tea light holder on the bottom, black legs, and the actual colour of the burner and tea light holder is kind of like a stone colour. So I've got loads of wax melts that I can burn through, and I do have a couple of wax melt burners, but this one I just thought looked so nice. So one in a hallway maybe, one in a bathroom, a bedroom. I mean there's loads of places I can put wax melt burners, and that is what they look like. So that is everything that I picked up from Nex. I hope you have enjoyed this come shop with me. I don't think I've ever done one in Nex before. So if you are a fan, let me know and I can do more of them. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little shopping trip. Make sure to check out the sale whilst it's still on. And if you get any good sale finds, let me know. I love seeing what you guys buy as well. So message me on Instagram your purchases because... We can share our own little hauls together. To be honest with you, so many of you inspire me to go shopping as well. Like if you send me something that you've spotted in stores and I'm like, right, well that's it, I'm off. I'm, out. I'm off out to the shops straight away. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thumbs up if you have, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. In my next video. See what I did there? <laughs> Bye guys.